Hi, welcome back to the Chaos. It is Shani and Books. Today I'm going to do my September TBR. Kian's going to talk in the background as always. If you haven't seen my TBR videos before, I do 10 Moon Bowling Chooses my TBR. I pick 10 prompts. It's chaos. I pick 10 prompts out of the jar, each on a pin. Roll the ball, whatever I knock down, I have to fit those prompts. And for everyone who is new and hasn't experienced the chaos, um, I'm sorry, I'm a mum of a toddler. He's going to make noises. Um, let's just get these prompts done. Pronoun or possessive in the title. I haven't had that one before. Oh, I have to put this one back. A book that matches my nails. They're playing. A size word in the title. A book related word in the title. Plant on the cover. I think I've gotten that one heaps. I need to take that one out maybe. An author I've loved before. Oh, okay. Hang on. Too many. Too many. Hang on. I need to count them. One, two. Thank you. Did you grab one out? A color in the title. Oh gosh. I don't even know if I have books that match this. A genre I don't normally read from. A bestseller. Oh, what did you get? Oh, this is a new one. Arc. One, two. Oh, hang on, baby. I need to count them first. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, last one. Thank you. Part of a series. Okay. That's it. I don't need any more now. I'm already done. I need to get the pins out. Okay. <laughs> hang on. Let's do the bowling. Ready? You going to throw? Set. Uh -huh. Go. Oh, good one. Oh, 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 oh no. Okay, hold on. Um, I don't actually own a lot of these books physically, so so he rolled the ball twice, but I'm counting six. I I don't know. I picked up the first roll and the second roll, and then I stopped him, which I did that last time too. Um, so there are also a few things that I need to fit into my TBR for September. One, I always participate in the Buzzword Reading Challenge. This month is Game Words. Two, any book clubs. Um, the We're All Booked book club is rereading a bunny, so I managed to fit that one in. And three, any readathons, which I'm going to try and participate in the Thick Thighs readathon because it is created by my friend Sasha, so it is just reading plus sized books. Author I've loved before. I'm Counting Solitaire by Alice Oseman. This one is the book I'm going to be using for my Buzzword readathon because Solitaire is a classic game, and those yeah. of us who yeah. grew up without internet. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you were like me and played Solitaire a million times on the computer on like Windows 95 or whatever it was. Mommy. And I think this is like one of the only, oh, the only, I think, Alice Roseman I've yet to read. And I think this is her debut. And I've liked pretty much Mommy. everything that I've read from her. Mommy. And I believe this one Mommy. is from, yes. I would not be surprised if my subscriber See number goes down after this video. See it is. If anyone's wondering, wondering what it's like to be... A single mom with a toddler. It's this. This one I think is following the older sister, right? Of from Heartstopper, Tori Spring. Right, I've had to move positions. This is just, it's, it is what it is. But yeah, I think this is just a young adult contemporary, which I don't read a lot of. Um, but I'm going to give it a try. Um, next up, let's get through the ones that I don't have physical copies of at the moment. So, for pronoun or possessive in the title, I have an arc that I think comes out in September called Her Own Happiness. I read another book by this author. Mommy, I think it was for Jan's book club Mommy, last year. Mommy. Maya Davis is living in paradise until her apartment, her career, and her dreams fall away in a horrible and dramatic Mommy. fashion. Suddenly, she's packing her life into two suitcases and heading back to her parents' Mommy. home in Maryland, scrambling for a plan B. Happy 31st birthday, Maya. Ooh. Already, I feel like this is going to be something I'll like. A character in their Ooh. 30s changing their life up. Um, I'm not going to read the whole synopsis, but I am excited to read this because I did enjoy the book that I read from this author before. For a book related word in the title, I, if you've seen some of my other videos, you'll know that I started doing a reread of Cassandra Clare's books that I had read in order to get through all of them. So I think that the next one that I'll be picking up in September will be Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy and Tales is a book related word. It means story. So, and yeah, I think this is just like a bunch of short stories within the Shadow Hunter universe and going by my reading speed i think that should be the next one i'll be up to and then following on from that um for part of a series i'll then be starting the dark artifices series so i'll be reading lady midnight next up we have arc and for this one i've got another arc that i need to get to i think it just came out 
It is Not Just Gal Pals, which is a sapphic romance book. It looks like it's set in a small town. One of the characters is an influencer. And one of them looks like they've had a crush on the other for a while. And I love sapphic romances, so hopefully I love this one. And then for a genre I don't normally read from. For this one, I'm going to count Bunny by Mona Awad. This one, like I said, is the book that the World Booked Club book club is reading in September. This one will be a reread for me. I have already read it, but I do oh, want to reread it to see what my thoughts are like the second time around. This is a horror book. I don't read a lot of horror. I read some, but not. It would have to be surely one of my lowest oh, read yeah. genres. Yeah? yeah. This is just a really weird book set in a college. Um, yeah. I Oh, bye. Um, but lastly, uh, one of the prompts in the jar, I think it might be in there twice, is Ken picking a book for me. It did get picked out once, and then last month I also got him to pick a book because it would work for Jan's readathon. But I had a lot of fun doing that, so I think I'm going to do it every month. So I would have inserted the footage, or maybe I'll insert it now, of Ken choosing a book for me. I need you to help me choose a book. Um, this one. Oh, you think that one? Yeah. You're going to have a look at it? Yeah. You think that one? Yeah. Well, I've actually had that on my shelf for a very long time. That would be a good choice. You definitely want this one? Yeah. Okay, sure. You, why did you pick it? Because you like red? Yes. Okay, sure. Cheese. And the book he chose, I have literally had sitting on my shelf for years. It's a non-fiction. We Should Hang Out Sometime by Josh Sunquest. This, I think, was like a book explosion book club book in like mm. 2015 or whatever it came out. So... I'm going to pick up this one finally, but I think this one is about a man who goes and asks all his exes why they didn't work out. And yeah, I think this should be a quick one, but yeah, it's like a non-fiction, which is amazing because I need to up my non-fiction amount. So there we go. The books that I'm going to try and read in September. Let me know what you're reading in September. If you would like to participate in the readathon that I was talking about, there's a bingo board. And I just realized the book for author I've loved before I said Solitaire, but I was going to count the book that I was going to use for the Thick Thighs Readathon, which is The Princess Trap by Talia Hibbert, because I have loved Talia Hibbert before. Um, I thought I corresponded every single book to a prompt, but looks like I have a bonus one. But yes, if I can read The Princess Trap, then I'm going to read that one for the readathon. I'm sorry, this is so chaotic. My life just is now. So let me know what you're reading. In September, I'm going to go. I'm flustered. Yes. At this point, just unsubscribe.